How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the differences between a CPU and a GPU. So let's begin with making sure you understand what CPUs and GPUs are. The CPU, as most of you might know, is the central processing unit and is that expensive metal square you place in your motherboard, which is basically the brains of your computer. GPUs, however, are most of the time misunderstood a little bit. The terms graphics card, video card, and GPU are often interchanged to mean the same thing. This is true for the first two terms, but we have to draw the line at that third one. The GPU is the actual chip on your graphics or video card. This is an important distinction because graphics cards are made up of the GPU memory called VRAM or video RAM and their own cooling systems. Many graphics cards can actually share the same GPU, but not the other parts. So you can see the graphics card itself is like a small computer within your computer. It has its own processor, RAM, motherboard, cooler. So what is the difference between the processor in your graphics card and the processor on your motherboard? To understand the differences, we need to look at the type of task each will be performing because these are wildly different. The CPU has to perform a wide range of tasks for the entire system. These processors are great for serial tasks. This is switching from different things back and forth as needed. The GPU has a narrow range of tasks though, with specific specialized areas of work. They are great for highly parallel repetitive tasks. These mostly include mathematical calculations for images and videos. If you've watched my other explained videos, you know how much I enjoy using my metaphors. So for this one, I like to think the CPU is a chef and the GPU is one of the chef's prep workers. The prep person is great at dicing up all the ingredients needed for the cook. They can cut thousands of potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, onions, super fast, very similar motion, but they are the best at it. Meanwhile, the chef has to take these parts and mix them all together, use the correct temperature, timing, and mix them in the correct order. And in this scenario, of course, the chef can also do the same work as the prep person, but it's much more efficient to offload that work onto someone who specializes in it and can perform it faster. The CPU will take tasks like this for images and videos and send them to the GPU to deal with since the GPU's architecture is designed for more parallel tasks. Speaking of architecture, let's go over the physical difference of these two chips. Where CPUs will have the advantage of larger pools of cache memory, GPUs have a huge advantage in the brute force of their thousands of cores. So for an example, a modern CPU, say the Ryzen 5 3600, which is a six core CPU, or an i7 10700K, which is an eight core CPU, are typical CPU core sizes, you know, six to eight. There's even some super high-end ones that go over 20, but that pales in comparison to the amount that's in, say, a 3080. A 3080 has 8,704 CUDA cores that it has to work with. And a lot of these are done parallel processes, all doing different calculations for the same thing at once. And just to compare that to an older graphics card, a 970, which was two to three generations ago, still has 1,664 CUDA cores. These cores, while they might act differently than CPU cores, do what they need to do for the GPU. So the difference is, is the CPU core will have many different tasks it might have to do, where the GPU core is basically doing the same exact specific task over and over and over. So they are, in a way, simpler cores, but you just have a massive amount of them just to push this work through. And that is all I have for you guys here today. I hope this kind of helped you understand the differences between these two processors and the advantages and disadvantages of both of them, but they work together to create what you see today. And if you have any other questions, leave them below in the comments. I'll get to them there. Otherwise, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.